Hola, amigos, and welcome to Keyframers. I'm Stephen Shaw. And I'm David Korshid. Right now, we'll be giving a quick overview of some techniques we use to build this awesome animation. Our show is supported by our sponsors, uh, CodePin at CodePin.io, CSS Tricks at CSS-Tricks.com, and viewers like you. You can pledge at Patreon.com slash Keyframers. We've got some links available below for you. Yeah, and here you can watch the full process of creating this animation from scratch with a deeper dive into each technique, so please check out the live stream. And if you have any questions, leave a comment or ask us in the chat, and we'll be happy to answer. That's right. Let's take a look at Z-index transitions. Uh, so Z-index is uh, kind of where uh, the an element sits in the stacking context. Uh, so for instance, our, our little sections here are at Z-index 1 whenever they're not active. And then whenever we apply our data active attribute, they are at z-index 10. Uh, so we click it and apply that, uh, that z-index 10 so that it's over all of these elements, especially while it's transitioning, uh, but, but mostly so that we don't have any, any overlap. For instance, if we take that off and uh, do the same thing, yeah, you can see the uh, elements later in the DOM are overlapping. Uh, Z-index is auto by default uh, or dependent on where it is in the in the DOM essentially. So the later an element is in the DOM, the higher that auto Z-index value is. Or if they share the same Z-index, so Z-index one, the elements later in in the in the tree um, kind of override that. Is that is that a fair summary? I'd say so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we want it to be Z index 10. Um, so we've applied that here when it's active. Uh, but if we don't transition that, uh, you'll notice that it gets a little a little funny um, when we're going back out uh, because we're going instantly from 10 to one, even though the element is, is transitioning and moving. So just by adding in our Z index uh, to the transition, it's going to transition at the same time um, going from 10 all the way down to 1 um, so that the the animation should be pretty smooth. It should be overlapping that, that entire time. Uh, now, the important thing to remember that we ran into <laughs> with this is uh, you can't you can't just have like the z-index uh, that you want on like the this active state uh, and then no, no z-index here because if you're transitioning you have to transition from two numbers not from auto to 10. Uh, the same the same reason you can't just uh, do like a height transition from height auto to you know height 100 percent or height 200 pixels whatever uh, so you have to set a z index uh, that you're going to and from in order for that transition to trigger properly so that's z index uh, try transitioning that next time you've got some kind of modal animation or, or overlay um, that that's a very helpful way to uh, to handle that uh, if you want to see more uh, you can watch the full live episode where we uh, break down all of these techniques uh, so go back and, and check out the full live stream for that <laughs>